Good morning, everyone. Who doesn't love some good chicken and dumplings? So today we're gonna do a little chicken and dumplings recipe that I got here. It's a little crock pot recipe. It takes five hours total, cooked on high. Um, something I usually don't do, but this is one of mine and Jessica's favorite meals, so I figure I might as well document it so you guys can see how you can make you some awesome chicken and dumplings. And just so we'll have the recipe recorded in case I ever get old and forget. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. We do these kind of fun things all the time. This is something new for me. We got football on here later, uh, playoffs. Figure chicken and dumplings is going to be a nice meal. It's actually snowing out here right now. So be a nice, uh, nice hot little meal to just stay in and enjoy the TV. We're going to do this together and I'll bring you along with me and uh, hopefully it turns out great. Okay, so I'm here at the grocery store. The most important ingredient to chicken and dumplings is a big bag of double stuff Oreos. Just kidding, but I'm getting those because they're awesome. Okay, so for this recipe, you will need a can of cream of chicken and a can of cream of celery. Really adds to the flavor. Okay, now, I already have a box of this, but this is the kind of chicken stock that we get. We get the organic, free-range chicken stock. We try to go for the low sodium if they have it, but if they don't have it, the regular works just fine. The low sodium one's pretty popular, so as you can see, they've only got a couple of these left. This is the one most people buy. This is the one we get. Simply Truth Organic Low Sodium Chicken Broth. The good stuff. Also, the most important part is the chicken. I usually get three chicken breasts. This will go in the bottom of the crock pot. Um, Tyson, I feel, is the best. You want to try to get about two pounds. Um, I try to get close to that, maybe a little over. It's about 2.8 pounds. Second most important ingredient I get. Now, I do, I do the cheating way. I get the dough already made. Uh, but I do have a way I'll roll this out to where it stretches out the dumpling some But you want to get the eight pack of the buttermilk Pillsbury Grands flaky layers biscuits Should be eight of them Okay, so we're back from the grocery store. We got our chicken cream of chicken or cream of chicken cream of celery got our biscuits already poured the two cups of chicken broth that we'll need and here's an important ingredient that I already had. You definitely want to get some uh, poultry spices. This is the one we like. Chef Paul Prudholm. How do you say that? This is just like it says, poultry magic. That's the good stuff. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this and we're going to cut off as much fat as we can and wash the chicken. I can't stress this enough. Wash the chicken before you put it in the crock pot. This will be the first thing you put in. Okay, so we got our chicken. Got most of the fat cut off there. You want to place it in the bottom of the crock pot there. Kind of even it out to where it's all flat on the bottom. Then we're going to add about a tablespoon of this poultry magic. And we're just going to layer it on top of the chicken. It doesn't have to be on the bottom because... It's going to kind of all mix together anyway. It's just the part of the chicken that's exposed. This will help kind of, kind of bring out the flavor. Okay, so we've added our spice. Like I said, about a tablespoon. You can eyeball it. That's usually what I do. I just make sure there's a little bit that covers it. Because when we mix everything together in here, it's going to kind of all mix anyway. So next we're going to add our two cups of chicken broth our cream of celery and our cream of chicken. Also you want to make sure that you put the biscuits, if you're going to do the biscuit way, you want to put these in the fridge because this is going to be put in at the last hour of cooking. This takes about five hours total cooked on high on your crock pot. On high it's about 275 to 300 degrees and that's what you're going to have to do in order to make this in five hours. Okay, so one thing I wanted to point out is you want to add the chicken broth first and then add the cream of chicken 
and the cream of celery so that it makes it easy to kind of, I like to do a little mix here. You don't have to, but I don't know, I, I feel it helps it cook more evenly if you kind of mix it all together. You can see some of the poultry uh, seasoning coming up here. That's definitely what you want. And you don't you don't have to do a huge mix of this because this is going to cook on high for four hours. Like you want to put your lid on, cook it on high for four hours and do not open the lid. Just do a do a good little mix here. I know it it looks kind of weird at first, but it all it all cooks in. And you just put it on high and let the magic happen. Okay, so we're ready to go. Just put the lid on here. Turn this up to high. Like I said we're gonna let this sit here for four hours, so. I'll be back in four hours to give you the rest. Um, what's going to happen is this is going to cook for four hours. And then we're going to take the biscuits and I'm going to use a rolling pin and roll them out flat. Because if you're doing it in a crock pot, you want to have the dumplings as thin as possible. So we're going to roll it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys everything, how I do it and everything. So pretty awesome meal, great comfort food. I'll see you guys in about four hours. Okay, so we're at about 3 hours and 45 minutes. One thing I failed to mention before is you will need probably a little bit of flour because when you do the biscuits, you got to roll them out and you want to put flour all over here so it doesn't stick to your rolling pin. And uh, we do this at about 3 hours and 45 minutes because we want to make sure that we get the dumplings in there so that they can cook for an hour so they'll be completely cooked. Get out our biscuits here. Uh, open these up okay so here's the fun part and a bit of the messy part reach in there I'll put some flour on your little cutting board I'll kind of get it a little bit all over and then I'll put a little bit on your rolling pin don't stick and you're gonna to have to probably do this a couple times throughout we'll take one of our biscuits here what I like to do is I like to kind of move it around in a little bit so it don't stick and you just give it a nice roll don't be afraid to to really roll it out here you kind of want them as thin as possible Sticks a little bit, just that's what we do this for. <laughs> they don't have to be like paper thin or anything, but you do want it because you're going to quarter them when you put it in here. Doesn't have to look perfect, that's about good. And you take your knife. You don't have to go down too hard. Just want to get it to where it's cut all the way through. Now, if you make them and they're a little big, you can do normally you would just quarter them like this, but you can if they're really big. You can kind of do it in uh, like this here, get more dumplings. So then we take a plate. We'll set this off to the side and we'll just kind of slowly peel apart the dumplings here. Lay them in this plate here. And that's it. And then you just make sure that you do all eight biscuits that way, roll them all out, put them on the plate, do this about 15 minutes before the four hour time because at four hours you want to make sure that you have the dumplings in here and I'll show you that here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and roll out the rest of the biscuits. Okay, so after you've quartered each biscuit, rolled it out and cut it into fourths, lay them on the plate here. Now what you're going to have to do is you want to open the crock pot 
but you want to put these in as fast as possible because the longer we leave this open the more heat that's going to be coming out of it so what we're going to do is we're going to add these in and we're just going to lay them right on top right on top okay so we're going to take our lid off real quick here might be some steam coming out of there set that in the sink and we're just going to start laying these in here just like that right on top don't have to push them down or anything just lay them in there they'll kind of float on top that's okay that's what they're supposed to do and you just want to add these in as quick as you can okay as you can see here i got all the dumplings on top it's pretty much taken over the top here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a spoon and i'm just going to lightly touch around the corners to kind of get it into the broth just a little bit don't really have to do this step but this is the way i do it and it comes out pretty good that way okay again you don't want to have the lid off too long but like i said like yeah just just lightly tap that lightly tap it to where when they all got just a little bit of juice on it doesn't have to don't don't dunk them completely just kind of kind of push around the sides there just to where it's a nice where you can see a lot of the juice on top of them I feel it helps cook it a little better okay now we're gonna let that cook for about another hour it's gonna take that long for the rest of the chicken to cook um, one thing I want to remind you is you do want to try to layer the dumplings on top as fast as possible less heat that comes out of the crock pot the better so I'll see you guys in an hour okay it's been an hour those dumplings look done to me so now comes the tricky part what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna open the lid up and we're gonna kind of separate the dumplings a little bit from the the best spot that you can really find where you can kind of pull the chicken out because we're going to pull the chicken out and shred the chicken up some and then we're going to put it back in okay we're going to separate this a little bit dig down in there pull out piece of chicken now it may kind of separate as you pull it out and that doesn't have to be perfect and I'm sure you can probably shred this up inside but this is how I do it everything's cooked so you don't have to worry too much about the dumplings because it's all going to get mixed together here in a minute kind of move it around oh yeah it's pretty much falling apart as I take it out Much of that chicken out as you can. Try not to create a huge mess. And once all the chicken's out, just take a couple forks and just lightly kind of pull it apart. It doesn't have to be completely shredded. I'm going to get some good chunks there. Lightly shred it apart. Okay, it's stopped. Okay, we got all our chicken, chicken, <laughs> chicken, chicken, chicken. Got all our chicken separated there. You just dump it on in. You dump it right on top there. We're gonna mix it together. Put all the chicken back in. And you just want to kind of lightly mix it back in with the dumplings. Some of the dumplings will kind of stick together. They'll separate though because what we're going to do is we're going to cook it for about another 10 minutes. We're at about 4 hours and 45 minutes. Give it a good mixing. You can kind of tear these dumplings as you go. It doesn't have to be perfect. Give it a good stir. That look good? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so we got the lid back on here. Just want to let this cook for another 10, maybe 15 minutes. Just to kind of bring it back. You can see where it's starting to bubble again. Just want to kind of 
kind of simmer there for a few more minutes and it'll be ready to go well there you have it it's all done five hours of cooking got our chicken and dumplings looks pretty good pretty awesome also wanted to point out that if you want to have a glass of wine with your chicken and dumplings cabernet goes really well with the meal any kind of red wine really but cabernet is my favorite Okay, well that's going to do it. That's how you do chicken and dumplings. Really easy. Put it in the crock pot. Let it sit all day. Good to go. Already tasted it. Tastes delicious. With all that being said, I'm out. And remember, the adventure is out there.